Hi, I am Shriram Benur and in this video, let's understand how to create Instamojo account step by step so that it gets approved as well. I have been using Instamojo account for a couple of years and if I show you, in this year itself, I have generated revenue of about uh, 10 lakhs through this payment gateway system with about 3000 plus transactions. Now again, I have different payment gateway system as well. So let's understand how to do it in the right way. Now, to create an Instamojo account, you can just click the link that I have given in the comment section or you can click the link that I have given in the video description. Now again, that's my referral link, but certainly you get benefits by signing up from my link as well. Now, once you click on that, so just click on sign up. So once you do this, you will see a screen something like this. Now, what you need to do, there are multiple ways to uh, sign up. Just click on sign up with Google. Now, this is the most easiest way I would say where like uh, with the help of your Google account, you can create an Instamojo account as well. I'm just going to click on sign up with Google. If you are a business owner and have an official email ID, then it is recommended to sign up using your official email ID so that you get all the notifications to your official email ID only. Now, once you do this, it is going to ask which Gmail account you want to use. So I'm going to select uh, as this ID. So it is asking me to verify uh, it's uh, my email ID only. So let me just do that now. Now, it says sign into Instamojo using this Gmail ID. I'm going to just click on continue. So once you do this, it will be asking your cell phone number. So verify using mobile number. So kindly enter the mobile number so that you can verify. I'm going to enter my cell phone number. Okay. Now the OTCP has been sent. So let me just enter the OTP. I'm going to verify this. I'm verifying this. Now get started with online business. So this is what it says. Now what you should be selecting here. So you have two options. Payments, collect and send payment uh, request, create payment links, etc. Second is free online store. Set a free online store, uh, list products and more. So you can select the second option. Just click on free online store. Once you do this, so what is the name of your store? I'm just going to mention my name here. Shriram Benur. Okay. You can just give your name. Uh, it's completely fine. Or you can enter your business name also. Then uh, add social media links. I'm going to click on that. In the meantime, I'm going to open my social media handles as well. So this is my Instagram uh, handle. So I'm going to give the Instagram. Uh, Facebook is uh, Coach Sri Ram Benur. Uh, enter your YouTube channel URL. Now again, uh, YouTube channel URL, you can go to YouTube. If I directly give this URL, it will not accept. Okay. Now if I uh, continue from here, okay, it will give an error. It says uh, channel name does not match because it will still, it uh, still does not recognize the handle. So what do you need to do for that? Go to your YouTube uh, studio. Okay. Once you go to YouTube studio, go to customization. From customization. Once you come to customization section from here, copy the channel URL. You can just cl uh, click on copy here. Now come and paste this. Okay. And then click on, uh, what are you selling? That's the next step. Okay. So it will accept. Now, what are you selling here? So you have physical products, you have digital products, you have services, uh, event tickets, others. Okay. Now again, don't worry. Uh, you can just create co uh, account with either digital products or services. But later, if you want to sell physical products, you can still do it as well. Okay. This is to make sure it is collecting the information about what you are trying to do. Now, in this case, say, for example, I want to sell digital products. Maybe it could be the online courses. It could be the ebook. So I'm going to select as digital products. Okay. So say, for example, if you are selling any physical products that is going to be delivered to customer's home, you can select as physical products. I'm going to click on uh, choose category. So again, there are multiple categories listed here, uh, based on the purpose that you are creating, you select the right one. Yeah, I'm going to select as education and uh, jobs. Okay. Now, whichever is appropriate for your business, you can select that one. 
customize your store okay now set store link so when somebody is going to see your payment uh, link this is the link that they are going to see okay so basically it has given couple of suggested names here so it's digital achievers hub now other one other one now again i'm good with the first one so i'm going to select the same thing now if you want to change it to something else you can certainly do as well okay if you want a different name you can give the name of uh, the link that you want and yes it is going to be created then click on create store in just couple of seconds your account is going to be created yes your account is created okay so you see this is going to be my link digital achievers hub dot my insta mojo dot com okay now let's leave this over here you don't have to do anything now let's come to the next step okay payment collection is not enabled on your account please set up payments to enable the buying option now couple of things that you should be uh, having uh, handy one is your pan card number uh, address proof either it could be uh, it could be your master other card it could be your uh, driving license you can have that and uh, you should be having your bank account details as well now along with bank account details please make sure to have either a cancelled check or six months bank statement so these are things that would be needed so let's start uh, completing this step now if you're somebody who is a business owner in that case you might need some business related documents as well maybe like a gst uh, certificate or something like that so let's just click on set up payments once you do this you're going to see something like this your business details uh, what is the subcategory i'm going to select as um, online teaching that's what i'm going to select now what do you sell so i'm going to sell uh, the digital product so i'm going to select as uh, products here what do you plan to uh, sorry do you plan to collect donations no i'm not planning to collect any donations see again as per your uh, business relevance select this okay now i'm creating this account specifically for selling digital products now coming on uh, approximate annual turnover so select the one that is appropriate for you again i'll select as um, 1 cr to 10 cr how old is your business so i'm going to select as about 2 uh, to 5 years uh, number of employees so i'm going to select as uh, between 1 uh, to 5 Now again, as per the even numbers, select the one that is right here. Okay. So next, more business details. I'm going to click on uh, this. More business details. Now you can't change the PAN number details later. So make sure you double check after you enter this. Okay. So I have entered my uh, PAN number, uh, name of the business. give your name as per the pan card registered business address so kindly enter mention the business address okay enter the pin code so once you have entered this details please double check now once you have entered this details please double check now if you are somebody who already has a business registered and if you have a gst number kindly enter the gst number here okay so that's something that you need to do so i'm going to enter my gst number here so once you enter the gst details again this is not mandatory if you're somebody who does not have a gst number it's completely fine you don't have to enter only if you have the gst registration then you need to enter then click on bank details so next is bank account details so kindly enter your bank account number Uh, confirm your bank account number then enter the ifsc code and then we are going to uh, click on accept terms and create account that's what we are going to do okay now once you have filled this uh, details click on accept terms and create account so just click on this okay now your account is created now you see two options here one is mojo flow and other is mojo pay Now what you should be creating is Mojo Pay, not Mojo Flow. So again, uh, what is Mojo Flow? Now if you want to integrate with multiple payment gateways, okay. Now you you want to integrate with maybe Razor Pay or uh, Cash Free, CC Avenue, Stripe, Phone Pay. If you want to do this, integrate multiple payment systems, then go for Mojo Flow. If not, Mojo Pay. 
So what we need right now is Mojo Pay. So just click on Setup Payments. So once you click on Setup Payments, so help us understand your business better. List up to five product services that you would like to sell. So again, this is for uh, us to give idea to Insta Mojo on what kind of products we are going to sell. So give about five product details here. So I'm going to enter like, um, say for example, YouTube course, okay. And I'm going to put the price as uh, 799, okay. I'm going to click next and I'm going to say as uh, Facebook creators blueprint 599, okay. So again, I have listed the price as well as, and I have mentioned what exactly the products I'll be doing, okay. So next, upload your documents. Now again, we have given the uh, PAN card number, you need to select the uh, PAN card proof as well. So you need to upload the PAN card document. So just click on, click to select the file, PAN card here. Okay, now PAN card has been selected. And scroll down. Now, uh, we have given the bank account details. So select uh, the following, either cancel check or bank statement for six months. I'm going to select as cancel check and I'm going to select that. So now what is the cancel check? Just so that you understand. Now let me tell you how exactly the cancel check should be looking. You can take a normal check and you can uh, write it as canceled on it. Okay. So this is called as a cancel check. Now take a photo of this and you can upload. Let me just click on, uh, click to select file. Now I'm going to select the check. Again, uh, please note, if you are going to upload a PDF document and if it is password protected, so you can select this and enter the password of it, okay? So if not, it's not uh, needed. Now once you do this, scroll down, address proof, okay? There are multiple options, must, uh, other card, uh, passport, voter ID or driving license. You can select any of this. I'm going to select as a uh, master other card and I'm going to click on uh, select file and I am selecting my Aadhaar. Once you're done with this, okay. So again, if it is password protected, you can select, uh, enter the uh, password here, okay. Now this is the most important thing, business registration document. If you're somebody who has your business registered, so you'll be having the GST number. If you're not registered your business, in that case, please select undertaking for individuals. Once you click on this, you'll see uh, option to download the document here. So just click on uh, here. Okay. You will see a document like this. If you're an individual and you have not registered your business in that case, you just have to fill this. Now, how you're going to fill this? You're going to uh, enter your name here. I'm going to mention as a uh, Sriram Benur. Okay. So son or uh, daughter of, so I'm going to say as a uh, son of, I'm going to enter my father name here. And uh, this is uh, dash years of age, enter your age here. Resigning get, uh, write the address here. Okay. Now, once you enter this, I'm engaged in the business of, uh, say for example, uh, selling digital products. Okay. You can mention about uh, your business here. Okay. Then I'm the sole uh, owner of the proprietorship concern. Again, you can just give your name here. Okay. Don't uh, worry too much about this. Just give your own name here. Operational from year, uh, you can just say as one year, two year, Okay, so under the name of, again, you can still give the same name here as uh, Sri Ram Benur. With PAN number, I'm going to enter my PAN number here. Now, once you do this, get a printout of this, enter your uh, signature. So put your signature, enter your name, place and date. So once you are done with this, take a photo or scan this and then come back here and come back here and upload this document. This is for individuals. This is for individuals who do not have the GST registration again. Okay. So just click on select file and select this individual undertaking document. Okay.
you also have an option to submit other business registration documents now anything that is applicable for you you can select that and upload the document as well now if you're a business owner just select the gst registration certificate select the gst certificate here come down uh, is your business registered at the same location where its operations are conducted you can select yes or if it is in different address you can select no and enter different address as well i'm going to select as yes and once you do this you can submit for review okay so all you are going to do is just hit submit for review okay so that's it now your insta mojo account has been created see that's how simple it is now the insta mojo team is going to review all the documents that you have given and uh, if everything is good they are going to approve if not they are going to send an email to you so please be available on the emails please make to make sure to check that and respond with whatever information they are asking so that your account can get approved usually it takes about couple of days to maybe uh, one or two weeks but yes it will get approved as well okay now go back to dashboard so this is how your insta mojo account looks like if you want to learn how to earn money by selling digital products then just comment below so that i can create a brand new detailed video uh, roughly i have about 10 different sources of income right now i can share those details so that you can also start your earning journey as well again comment below so that i can create a brand new video on that if you have any queries related to insta mojo just comment below i'll be more than happy to answer and again if you are looking to grow your youtube channel just click on this link to watch more videos related to the same thanks for watching i'm shriram benur and if this video was informative and easy for you to understand then please do subscribe again i'm shriram benur see you in the next video